Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data scientist or a data analyst, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, MLU Prasad. I am a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in the top companies for the SQL round, which are already available in the LeetCode platform. All the questions which are asked in the LeetCode platform have been solved and uh, the solution for that are kept in my GitHub repository. That the link for that is kept in the chat description below. In addition to that, I have segregated the videos into five different playlists consisting of easy, medium and hard depending upon the difficulty of the topic and uh, premium subscription questions of LeetCode as premium playlist and all the questions ordered by the sequence number. Let's see the question which we are trying to solve it today. Question number 1532 type medium the most recent three orders okay uh, they have given a customer table consisting of some customer ID and name and order so order table okay describing the customers orders which is consisting of order ID order date customer ID and cost this table contains information about the order made by the customer ID each customer has one order per day okay only one clear write an SQL query to find the most three re orders of each users if a user orders less than three return all the orders okay return the table ordered by customer name in ascending order in case of a customer ID in this okay when it is the final result they are telling you to order by that okay they are trying to order by three things Let's see the sample table. Here you can observe there are one minute. Yeah. There are five customers with ID one, two, three, four, and five. And their respect to orders also here can be seen. This is the customer ID table. How many orders made by customer one? This is the one. This is two. This is three. This is four. Okay. Among them, what are his latest orders? Uh, this is July 31st. This is 610, August 3 is first order, July 31st is second latest order and this one is the latest order, right? So this we will be discarding because this is not his top third order. So one, what is one? Winston. So we will be doing the inner join of these two tables and we will take in the top three. Let's see one Winston, here you can see only these three dates are taken this was discarded simply for two Jonathan there is two here two here three here so the respect to three orders will be the top three orders similarly for three there are one order two order so the top three are not there only two are there that will be kept so what happens if the three or less than three orders are there that will be kept if more than three orders are there, the top three ordered by the respect to dates will be given there. So the easy shortcut of that will be we can do ranking operation for dates with respect to every order ID. So we need to partition by order ID, rank this respect to order dates and we need to keep a filter less than or equal to three. Then the only top three for each customer ID it will be there. After that, we need to join this customer ID to this customer ID using inner join and this will be our final output. Okay. Let's see how we need to do. First of all, select from orders. 
what are the most important columns okay they don't we will also want all okay let's keep asterisk comma rank over partition by we partition by what customer ready yes and we need to order by order date descending let's call it some rk Here you can see for every date it created some ranking with respect to customer if you can see there are three customers sorry uh, four customers top four one two three four one two three one two one but we want only the top three things so we will keep a filter let's call this table some CTE CTE and okay. now from this CTE table I want only rank which are less than or equal to three only top three only I want select all the rows okay let's call this table seat CTE2 if you want to see the result of this let's see it select all from CTE2 here you can see maximum 3 or less than 3 will be there but not greater than 4 will be there because we have kept it we kept it here at rk less than or equal to 3 now what we need to do we need to join this table to our primary table to get the results of each one of them so um, if you see here for customer table 5 there are no orders in this final output right so we need to do what inner join select from mall inner join customer stable let's call it B let's call this A what is the common column in this both these tables customer ID okay let's see the final output but we don't want all the columns we will need only this kind of column so uh, where is this name so we want b dot name as customer name comma what is the other column we required customer id anything we can, we can select let's take b dot customer ID and order ID also required a dot order ID comma a comma order date okay we got the results but we need to do what ordering what they said order by customer name ascending customer ID also ascending after that order date descending ok it got accepted let's submit the question okay all our test cases has been successfully accepted by the platform thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends or colleagues who are learning or preparing for a data analyst or a data scientist interview thanks for watching